In the 1940s, a little girl born in the rural Mississippi Delta watched her mother put together skirts and dresses on an old sewing machine and was compelled to learn how to do this remarkable work. She would save flower sacks to make our dresses, our skirts, blouses. We had pretty white blouses. Her name flower was Helen Mosley. No. Helen became extremely skillful at making dresses and soon would create designs for herself with only the picture in her mind to guide her. Never used pattern. She later married C.W. Galloway and moved to Memphis, Tennessee in 1952. As Helen's reputation grew, her creations were worn by more and more women. She would get pictures out of the paper and I would make them fun. She said, people at church said, I don't know how you can afford them kind of suits. She said, because I know where you got that from. You got it from Helen and Memphis. And she said, Helen, I don't be telling no stories. You in Memphis. I mean, just her talents, man. Not, not just because she's a mom. She's an extraordinarily gifted talents that came from God. Helen truly loved her work. She was dedicated to creating quality garments that were affordable to women in her South Memphis community and throughout the city. Years later, Helen Galloway found herself in an abusive marriage. But one day in particular, he tried to take her life. He had three guns on the bed. He said, when I get tired of beating you, I'm going to bust your brains out. And then I'm going to shoot you. She eventually regained her strength and once again continued the work she loved. Helen Galloway also helped a young man in creating a highly popular men's clothing accessory, the bow tie. Oh, Moe's bows. Yes, I made a mini bow ties for Moe's bows. <laughs> in 2003, Helen suffered a stroke. No longer able to work at her usual pace, she still does what she can for people and hasn't lost her creative skills. In February of 2017, she decided to create a bunny for herself. What she created has turned into a practical and very fashionable item under the creative label, Miss Helen's. It holds your hair, you know. You ain't got to worry about your hair being all over your head when you get up. <laughs> One day, her great-grandson told her he wanted to go to college after graduation but didn't have all the money needed for tuition. Helen knew how she would help him with his educational needs. That's my baby. Now I'm gonna do what I can because he wanna go to college and I'm gonna do what I can to help him. We live in a consumer society. This sister decided, hey, you know what? I'm gonna take my talents and my skills and I'm gonna create these bonnets. You know, cause my grandbaby needs some help and if we can sell these bonnets, I can help my grandbaby go to school. I might not be able to do it all, but every little bit helps. Well, I just appreciate you so much for being, even when I was little, taking care of me, always being there for me. Cause if it weren't for you, I don't have nobody to take care of me. His great grandmother and his great grandmother, when nobody else would hold him, she held him. I don't know how I'd be if it weren't for it, cause you was there for me most of my life. Than probably anybody. I'm still here for you, baby.